Hello everyone, uh, my name is Joseph and I'm going to try to intercept the packages that are being sent across the network with this um, malware called Crypto Defense. It looks like CryptoLocker, but this is a little bit different and it's a mat it is much more destructive. So what we're going to do now with this tool, we're going to intercept the data. So before we start, before we even start, let me tell you. This is my blog in here because I got infected with this malware and in here you can see that by today, that is to say um, the 22nd of March, they are doing $9,000, $9,000 and this is all the payments that they received. You can see this because every transaction, even though uh, bitcoins are anonymous, everyone can know how much money an account has because there are a lot of transfers which are public so let's get let's get hands down to business we're gonna recover the key of this computer this is a virtual computer and everything I do to this computer will not damage the, the real computer so we are safe in here what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna open this sample this is the virus I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna start capturing the data and let's see what is going on takes a while and let's take out UDP and let's wait okay here let's wait until it it makes it business it starts scripting all your files you can see here you are here we are okay all your files including videos photos and documents on your computer Right. are encrypted by crypto defense software encryption was produced using a unique public key RSA, RSA 2048 wow I mean that kind of encryption is very strong not even those computers used by, for biomolecular research and weather forecast can break this kind of keys in a considerable time that is to say in less than I don't know 20 years or something like that so close this we're not even gonna visit that web page okay and let's see what we can do so what does it do here ah my phone is ringing I'm not gonna pick it up right now I'm doing this video so it sends a string in here it seems to be uh, random I'm not sure yet it doesn't matter so the server responds with another string that's not very important let's look at the second interaction with the server your computer sends something and what we have in here is the RSA key because this is a header this is a little header of the file and this is the HTTP header let's forget it this is the the key but it doesn't look like a 2048 keys it looks like a smaller key like a 1024 bits key and well it is it is still big I mean you, you can't even crack that key today but this seems to be the key that we're looking for so what we're gonna do now we're gonna dump all these packets to a file it's gonna be a raw data file okay we're gonna place it in the desktop here and say DCP dump. This is the data that we dump in. Okay, now we open this hex editor. It is free. It's called hex edit. Uh, it's called XVI32 edit. Let's search for the TCP dump. TCP dump here. Click. And we're gonna search for the RSA string somewhere in the file. Okay, here you are. Now we select all this with shift with shift and the URLs keys. It's turning red. Select this, then you go up. Then we control and D. I'm not sure if you're familiarized with this text edit with this hex editor. You can use any other hex editor, but I'm very I'm pretty much used to this one. 
because it's free and small. And well, this seems to be the end of the file. We go to the end, go to the end, right down to the bottom. It's very long. Okay, and we delete it. We're gonna delete this strings too. Okay, this has to be the end of the file. It has to. It's logical. So we we I'm gonna save it as key dump. Okay, key dump. Now what we need now. I had the decryptor here, but this decryptor is not going to work with this computer because this secret key in here belongs to another computer. But we can still use this key as a reference. But just to show you, I'm going to try to open this decryptor with that key. Because, listen, this is very important. If somebody has paid for the ransom and they share this file, it doesn't mean that it's going to work on your computer. It is not going to work at all. Basically, it is going to corrupt your files. So, but let's try to open this. It says it has found 38 files. Okay. And you can't. There's a lot of mistakes. So, we're going to close this process because it can uh, corrupt your files. It actually corrupts your files. So, we go here and we close. We kill the process. Okay. We know it doesn't work. So, but this key has the information we need because we need to clean this file so we we need information we need to know where it should start and where, where we should end we need to have an idea so we're gonna use this file as a reference so we open this file on the right to see where it starts ha <laughs> okay this is very funny the malware encrypted my key the key that, that I was going to use as a reference doesn't matter, doesn't matter I have something here have another have another key here extract and the password is okay okay good I'm gonna close this okay, this was very funny <laughs> we open this key okay this is the key that we're trying to dump then filter from the traffic and this one on the right is the other key from which belongs to another computer so we see that this key we can use this character as a reference it's 07 it's say address number 4 so this character here, 07, is at address number 6. So we delete two characters. And address number 4, address number 4. Good. Let's go to the end. 1,175. Let's go to the end. 74, 70, oh fuck, I need one more data, and I remember it was zero, so I'm gonna try because I'm not gonna dump this file again, it's, it's pretty lazy for that shit, so I'm gonna edit, and I'm gonna insert, string, I'm gonna be zero, I remember it was zero, but, okay, 8, E, Zero, zero. Okay. It has to work. Hope it does. Um. Okay. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. I was very stupid. No, no. Yeah, I was right. 75, 76, 17. Okay, okay. This must do it. Save it. Let's. Oh, 
let's see how it works. Return. Return. I'm gonna delete this one because we don't need this anymore. This is for the other computer. And we take this dump in here. <laughs> take a dump, that's not funny. Um, let's rename it secret that key and let's cross our fingers and let's hope it works. Yes. Yeah, it's working. It's to crypt and load files. Yeah. Error opening file might be used by another application. I don't know. Some some of the files that I'm trying to decrypt is already being used by another application. I'm not sure which one, but it's not a mistake at the decryption. It takes a damn while. But we can open the files again, hopefully. Document. Yeah. Text file. Oh, okay. It, it didn't. It didn't work with this one. But I'm not sure why. Uh, wait. That's automatic mode. No, bros. Desktop. No. Text file. No, it doesn't support drag and drop. Desktop. Start. Hmm. Okay. The reason seems to be that not all the files okay the reason why not all the files could be decrypted is because I corrupted the files the first time I opened this with a wrong key that is exactly what happened this is exactly what happened now I am researching this malware and this you see how you can recover the key from the traffic chances are very small um, in some countries all your all your data is stored in the server so the police can in theory your authorities can in theory recover your file but they have to know a, a date because a lot of things are being sent across the network and if you log all this that's a lot of data to 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 analyze but you can search on your computer the oldest how decrypt file you can search for the oldest how decrypt file on your computer And you will see something very interesting. Okay, where's the how decrypt? Let's wait for a while. Come on, you slow dang computer. How decrypt? Well, it just doesn't appear, I'm not sure. I'm gonna wait for a while. But meanwhile, the oldest how to crypt file on your computer. Okay, 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 here we go. Here are the files, okay. The oldest how to crypt file in your computer. You're gonna sort them by date. Um, date. I'm gonna search for the oldest file, the oldest, here. This file, for example, was created March the 22, March the 22nd, okay, 12 minutes ago, fucking Windows, doesn't tell me the date, okay, okay, here it is. But I want to know the seconds, so, wait. I want to know the real date, creation date, 11, hours 27 minutes well if you give the ISP that information they will probably if you are if you have some I don't know you have some connect or if you know anyone in the police or if you try to uh, report these crooks because what these crooks are doing is a crime it's a crime and in some countries it's gonna be very difficult to do it but I'm sure it can be done uh, the reason I could recover these files was because I used traffic I would I am I am analyzing traffic as this application is being executed that's why I could recover the files as you can see right now and you can download these tools on your own I can give you all your files, I can even give you the sample that's the file that is going to infect the computer do not run the sample on a computer on a real computer unless it is say um, a computer for test purposes for testing purposes this is a virtual computer and everything I do in this computer doesn't matter 
so you can recover the keys in that way another thing that I'm trying to do and I need a powerful hardware is the key that is sent okay this is the key it sends the key the server replies and there your computer sends another file and this file is a gpg picture this is the picture of your of your screen it's a screenshot that's the screen that that's the scary the screen that you see in on the on the crooks web page what i'm trying to do now i'm trying to create an application a program that will use the oldest the oldest date the oldest date of the how to create file as a seed what is a seed okay i will tell you computers you can generate uh numbers randomly okay they cannot naturally do that because computers can just make calculations very um very exact calculation they cannot make numbers random so what a computer does to generate a number it uses something called pseudo random algorithm pseudo random numbers generator it's called pseudo random pseudo because the computer does not really generate those numbers so it uses variables like the date the time and date of your computer this virus uses that to generate this key so in theory if we know the date of the oldest how to create file on your computer and if you compare it with with the time that it sends the key and generates the key there are just two or three seconds difference so maybe m thousands of milliseconds i can create a program that can regenerate those keys based on the data so if you got your files encrypted and you don't want to pay the ransom or you cannot offer the ransom remember search for the oldest how to create file on your computer and i will build the application that will use this data to recover the key it will generate thousands of keys thousands of keys so you need a very powerful hardware to do that i will do this as a uh, as a research project i will try to get the um because even though the algorithm is very strong the key generation i think the key generation is weak because it uses the uh the computer time to generate it if that is the case i can regenerate the keys without paying the crooks a penny so get to my blog here and wait until i have it so it's gonna take me time but i i i will come up with something i have uh used a lot of tools to to analyze this malware so wish you luck and remember next time back up your files back up your files because it's very important i lost all my files i lost my family pictures i lost my videos and i am not gonna pay for the ransom even though it hurts because if i pay for the ransom i'm encouraging these crooks to continue doing what they're doing so okay bye bye and thanks for watching